Hey guys, welcome to my favorite flow, Physio Ball Stretch Out. Now, Physio Balls are an amazing gym tool that you can use to help your body work out in relaxing ways, stretch, or work your core and your, and your uh, limbs really hard. So look, here's the, here's the difference between the balls. You have your biggest one, 75 or maybe an 85 centimeter. It's like this gray one. Then you've got your 65 or 75 centimeter blue, and you've got your um, smaller ball, your 50, 45 or 55 centimeter. Um, if you're about, if you're under six feet, you want to go here, and if you're over six feet, you definitely want to be tending up to the big boy. Hey, also a new invention in physio in physio balls is the sand. So if you use this, you can also get a little more stability with a sandy ball. Now, Physio Ball 1 is all about doing the easy stuff that make you feel really good. If you can use this in the home or your office, especially to do this very first stretch, which is bridging. So you just push back on that ball, stretch out your back and then pull in on that ball. Now, what you're doing here is taking a load off your spine. You're literally reducing the amount of pressure you get by sitting down three times less when you're laying on your back. So this is so good for the office and the very best tool you can have in the office. If you're still with me here, just press out into that back bend now a little bit more and feel even as you reach way overhead, feel how that ball really supports your back. This is the safest way to do back bends. Up, uh, stretching over the ball oh, and then returning. Now put your hands on your hips and step your feet into a parallel position. And now we can do bridging the move, the glute move. So you press your hips up in the air and then pull your hips down. You want the ball to be supporting your head so your neck isn't doing anything here but just relaxing. If you really extend your back as you pull down, try to trace your back along the ball Oh my gosh, that feels so good. See, so peel your back down, reach down, and your head can even come up just a little bit. Oh, then bridge up, press up through, and stretch out those hip flexors when you press up. And then stretch out that back on the way down. In these first couple moves, you can always just have your head cradled in your hands. Now do one more bridge and then just shift the ball side to side or shift side to side on the ball. If you reach your arms straight out to the sides, I call these physio ball airplanes. And this one can help you get that Ooh, stability between your right side and your left side. Now that might be a lot on your low back. So go ahead and curl up and let's stretch that low back by doing ab curls. So you keep the ball on your middle to low back. Keep your pelvis stable and flex from your middle back, i.e. your ab muscles, flex yourself up. Here's a rule of thumb. The further forward you go on the ball, the easier it is to curl and really stretch forward. Now the further you walk back on the ball, the harder it is to curl. But you can also do a deep back bend at the back side of that curl. So you flex middle back, ab muscles. And if you want to go into that deep back bend, that is totally healthy. Let's do one more 
curl. Effort from the abs. Now hold yourself flexed and twist. You can support your head like I'm doing, or you can shift to a wrestler's grip, which is what I really love to do. Twist. You feel those glutes working to help keep you up there? That's part of it, especially if you're in the office and you have to sit a lot. Get into these glutes. Stretch those guys, or make those guys work a little bit, and then you can sit down with more comfort. Last twist. <sighs> Lower yourself back and down over that ball. Stretch. <sighs> Deep stretch from over the top of the ball. Now, just hike yourself up, <laughs> curl up, and sit up really nice and tall on top of the ball. The other thing the physio ball can help you do is straddle your legs out and stack. So you're really, get myself organized, you're really focusing on your lumbar and your low back, also stacking up top through your posture. Now with this nice stack, hip hinge and stretch with a pumping stretch in front of you. <clears throat> oh, now feel as you hip hinge well, feel how your back stretches in a positive way and you stay active. Let's go three more pumps, two, one, now sit up real nice and tall and side bent. Four pumps and over to the other side. Four pumps to the other side. Now twist to the right, take a deep breath in and exhale, twist more. Take a deep breath in, stack. Exhale, twist more. Deep breath in, exhale, return. Let's do that again the other side. Twist left, deep breath in, exhale, twist more. Deep breath in, exhale, twist more. Deep breath in, exhale, twist more. Now, if that's all the time you have, get on back to it. You just did a great thing for your body. And if you need to sit or stand again, now your back's released. If you wanna do a little more, stay with me. Okay, roll down to your bridging position. Bridge those hips up. Be sure to keep control in your back as you march your bridge. Now, march one leg up, one leg down. One leg up, one leg down. You've got to focus and concentrate as you march. So number one, you keep your hips stable. And number two, oh, it's hard on that left leg. And we'll build this move up in physio ball three. and make that a really good move as well. Now press back and straighten your legs with just your upper back on that ball. So see if you can keep your lower back straight, your legs long, and stretch your upper back on the ball. See if you can uh, exaggerate that thoracic extension or the middle of your back. And step your feet underneath you and roll halfway up to your bridge. Now there's a famous move called Russian twists. And on Russian twists, what you wanna do is keep your hips bridged up. Keep curling your body up, but twist so far that your twist takes you all the way to one side of your arm, or to one arm, and then all the way to the other. Oh yeah. Russian twists. Let's go two more. One more. Oh, 
Good, and curl up. Come around behind the ball to finish. Kneeling back behind the ball. And let's finish with the move that starts physio ball two, which is snake stretch. So snake stretch. You're extending your back and extending out. Stretching through those shoulders. Then you're flexing your back and pulling your arms in towards you. Now to snake out to the left, you put your right arm on the ball, snake, twist, then pull in. Snake, twist, then pull in. Feel how you're twisting your back and getting a great stretch through that back and that rotator cuff. Let's go the other way, snake, twist, oh, and pull in. Snake, oh, twist, and pull in. And if you want to finish with me, just laying over that ball. Let your back relax here. This is my favorite physio ball move. <laughs> you can rock out your back. Great guys. Hey, that was an intro to physio ball. Hope you liked it. If you do and want more, check out two which is arms and core, and three, which is legs and core. <laughs> All right, enjoy. I'll see you next time at V-Bodies. <laughs>